You've most likely seen documentaries of cavemen and ancient humans. They usually don't have any clothes, and even if they do, it's part of a cloth to block out the private parts. It doesn't even cover them, let alone warm them up. In the year 1913, a British archaeologist by the name of Flanders Petrie was examining a site in Tarkhan, Egypt. And after many months, they found an ancient tomb and they start digging away. It took a very long time for them to dig up the tomb since they had to be extremely careful not to damage anything. But eventually, they got to the entrance of the tomb. And after trying, they finally open the tomb. Once they enter it, they realize that it's much different than the other tombs they found in the area because there was no body or mummified body in there. But there were a few items inside the tomb, like ancient vases, two wooden tools, the caps that go on the vases. But most importantly, they found an ancient piece of cloth, the piece of clothes that they named Tarkan the same area they found the tomb in. When this piece of cloth was found, they didn't realize what it was and how old it was because they couldn't examine it. But now we have realized with modern technology that this is at least 5,500 years old. So that means 5,500 years ago, the people that lived in Egypt had very nice clothes because the clothes you're seeing is not much different from the clothes we're used to. It is interesting to note that this is the oldest piece of clothing that we have ever found. And it is amazing that it survived all these years. But you have to know the tomb was the most important reason that such clothing survived. And it was kept out of the elements for 5,500 years. This is the oldest piece of clothing we've ever found. But this is not the point of this video. We want to figure out how many years people have been wearing clothes. But asking a question like this is easier said than done because it's not that easy to figure out. Clothes aren't like bones where they can fossilize and be easily found. They get destroyed fairly easily. Historians believe that it has been tens of thousands of years where humans have figured out how to make clothes to keep themselves warm and also be fashionable and better looking. The oldest piece of clothing we've found was the one we've shown you. But the oldest piece of cloth is a different story. The oldest piece of cloth has been found in Çatalhöyük in modern day Turkey. And it is just a piece of fabric that's about 9,000 years old. And even though it's incomplete, archaeologists believe that this piece of cloth belonged to a piece of clothing that has been ripped apart. It is true that nothing has been found older than this. But archaeologists and scientists have changed their ways to find out how ancient humans used to wear clothing. The first thing they decided to look for is needles, a very important tool to make clothing. In the year 1983, when archaeologists were examining an ancient cave in Sibudu, South Africa, they found ancient bone tools, ancient bones that were filed down to an extremely thin needles. After looking at it much deeper, the only idea they could come up with is that these needles were used to sew clothes together. And the interesting part is that they realize that these needles are about 61,000 years old. So that shows us at least 61,000 years ago, human beings have made their own clothes and they are wearing it. And it wasn't just a thing that would cover the private parts. It was actual clothes to keep us warm and possibly to make us look better. This was the archaeological found that clothes are at least 61,000 years old. But scientists think something else. And they believe that it's much older than 61,000 years old. And the main reason is body lice. If you've seen our video about lice, you know that body louse and head louse is completely different. And either one does not like the other one's environment. So a head louse does not go on the body and the body doesn't go on the head. So when there is body lice, there has to be clothes as well because a body lice does not live on your skin. It actually lives on your clothes. And whenever it feels hungry, it hops on the skin, starts eating blood, and then goes back into living in the clothes again. But this is for modern humans where they don't have a lot of body hair. Humans back then didn't have a lot of body hair either. Either way, if you have a lot of hair or no hair at all on your body, Body lice does not stay on your skin and it wants to live on your clothes. 
It has been 83,000 years since the body louse has formed into a different type of lice on our body. And that shows us that the oldest cloth is at least 83,000 years old because the body lice basically evolved into a way to live on our bodies because we started wearing clothes. And that's why scientists don't believe the 61,000 years old theory and they came up with their own and they say clothes are at least 83,000 years old. But you have to know that these are the theories they have came up with right now because maybe in the next five years they figure something out and realize that clothes are much older than 83,000 years. You never know and that's why scientists never say this is 100% true and there's nothing that could change my mind. It's always a theory. You have to know that Neanderthals were different from Homo sapiens and about 25, 30,000 years ago they went extinct. Did they wear clothes too? We know in that area that Homo sapiens lived alongside Neanderthals and the Homo sapiens had clothes. But the Neanderthals aren't that clear if they wore clothes or not. But we know that Neanderthals were not stupid. They weren't that far off in terms of intelligence compared to the Homo sapiens. So it's very hard to doubt that they wore clothes as well. Of course, since Neanderthals lived in colder climates as well, mainly in Eastern Europe and Northern Western Asia. Like for example, in the Shani Dar cave in modern day Iraq, there's a cave that has been found that had Neanderthal bones in it. No cloth has been found, but the climate over there is not very warm, so you would have to wear clothes if you wanted to survive in the winter. So this shows us the chances of a Neanderthal having clothes as well is highly likely. But how old is like proper clothing? Cloth like the Tarkhan cave we found in Egypt. You can say this is the oldest piece of clothing that is high quality or should I say luxurious for that time. But only about 200 years after this, meaning around 5300 years ago, a man named Otsi was living, an ancient human that had very proper clothing and he lived in northern Italy close to the Alps. But one day in his life, he gets stuck in the Alps. He freezes to death and stays there for thousands of years. Otsi basically mummifies in the ice, so he leaves us a lot of evidence on how humans lived back then. In the year 1991, people that were passing by realized something weird and they brought archaeologists to dig out a body. The place where this body was found was called the Otsal Alps and that's why they named this mummy Otsi. But they also call him the Iceman. The most interesting fact about Otsi was the clothing he was wearing when he died. His coat was made with sheep wool. His pants were made from goat leather. His hat was made with a bear's coat. And he even had leather boots that was made from a goat skin. You could say this is the oldest and most complex clothes that a human being wore. And this shows us that Otsi was not an ordinary person and he was someone important to have clothing like this. A lot of people thought that 10,000 years ago, human beings were all naked and they didn't have any clothing. But it seems like that's not the case. Human beings have been wearing clothes for tens of thousands of years. 